Okay, so a while back I wanted to make this shirt for myself, uh, but due to the Cricut restrictions, I knew that I wouldn't be able to do this with their normal print and cut. And so I'm gonna show you guys how I went ahead and did that. So I found the image on Google right here. I'm going to go ahead and insert that into my uh, design space. I'm choosing the simple option and I'm going to remove the background. So I'm gonna go ahead and proceed as normal. If this is the first time that you're seeing um, what we, uh, what people will refer to as cleaning up the image, I'm just getting rid of the background, okay? And so that looks like a pretty clean cut there. I'm looking up his hair, everything looks great. I'm just gonna um, unhide that preview and make sure. Yep, looks great, okay? So let's continue. And we are going to save this as a print then cut. We know that because it says print then cut and the green is highlighted there, okay? So let's go ahead and save that. I already have it insert, uh, I already have it uploaded, but that's fine. I just wanted to show you how I did this. Come on. We're gonna learn a cool trick today that's gonna make life so much easier, okay? So the image is uploaded. I'm gonna go up here to the size and just change that and just make it more manageable for myself. Actually, I take that back. Do not change the width. You are going to change the height. You want the height to be an even number. It's just gonna be easier for, for us to do that, uh, to do the next step, okay? And so his height is six inches. The width doesn't matter so much, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up a shape here. I'm gonna choose a square. And what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna make the height this three. Whatever um, a number that you choose, you're going to split it in half because it's exactly what we're gonna do to Chucky. We are going to split him in half, okay? And so the width um, on this needs to be a little bit larger to cover the whole image, okay? So as long as the width is large enough to cover the whole image and it's uh, half of your height, you're good. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to select both of those. We're gonna go up here to the top here on the align and we are going to go to align top, okay? So that does it all for us, it's still selected and what we're gonna do is press the slice button. Shroom, Chucky, you just got cut in half with your own knife. Okay, so let's remove these extra layers that we no longer need. And now Chucky is in half for you, okay? And so you can make it, now each piece itself, right? This is only three by three. So now each piece itself can be a maximum of 6.7, what is it, 6.75 by 9.25, okay? And if you want them to both scale at the same time, right, to, move, to you're going to, let me minimize this so we can make him really big. And what I do is, is I just adjust it. I make it as big as I possibly can until it starts uh, yelling at me over here in my panels with that uh, yellow exclamation mark, okay? So I can see here that one of them is too big. One of them's not, one of them's a little bit too big. That's fine. Let's make it a little bit smaller. Perfect. So this tells me that this piece is gonna be six inches in width by five, almost five and a half inches tall. So that's gonna be pretty big. All in all, if we were to put this together, this whole piece now is gonna take up like a whole paper, right? It's gonna be nine inches by 11 and a half. And so that's how you can get bigger results in, working in Cricut space by splitting an image in two. I personally use the word um, just regular Word document um, on my windows. And the reason I use Word is, is because I can get full sheets eight and a half by 11. So if I'm making a 3X shirt, um, this still isn't gonna be big enough for me. This is still only gonna be, you know, nine by 11 inches, which is still not gonna be big enough for to cover a 3X shirt. So this is a, um, a nice uh, method to, to learn. But if you have another program, what I would recommend, um, recommend you doing at this point is um, screenshotting or doing a, um, a snip, okay? So you can do a snip. Uh, I don't know how you can do that on your 
particular computer, but I would do a snip of each one, save it, and then I would upload it into to Word document, and then I would print it directly from Word like normal paper, okay? And when you are placing these together, you know, if you're using, um, I use T-Transfer uh, when I made my, um, when I made my shirt. So here's the shirt that I made. Um, you can't really see it and that's the whole goal of it, but there is a slight, slight, tiny, tiny little line. I can see it, I'm a perfectionist, um, but uh, you basically wanna overlap it um, very carefully. Uh, I, I, didn't, I don't know, I didn't really see a YouTube video on it. I just, I just go in and start trying things and if I mess up on material, I'm like, oh well, I'll just, I'm not saying I'm rich and I can just buy more, but for me, it's the experience. Um, it's not always the outcome, it's just the process of me doing it or learning that's fun. And so if it doesn't turn out, it's okay. I always learn what not to do and what to do the next time. So um, I hope this helps you being able to slice it. And like I said, you can use another program like um, Paint. You can even you know print from Paint, um, whatever programs you have, okay? And so any program that you can print from and you can insert an image, you can essentially um, do this. So once you split it and uh, splice it, excuse me, slice it here in Cricut, you can upload it into another program once you screenshot or um, snip, a, uh, uh, snip a picture of it, okay? Let me know if you guys have any questions.